Problem number 33. Out of 219 random tweets in December, 100 were about presents received. Out of 235 Instagram posts in December, 116 were posts about food. At the 1% level of significance, do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the proportion of tweets about presents is less than the proportion of Instagram posts about food? Okay, so the key word is proportions, and it looks like we have two data sets. So this is going to be a hypothesis test for two proportions. So it looks like we have tweets, and then we have Instagram posts. So we have tweets, and then here we have Instagram. So out of 219 random tweets, 100 were about presents. So here n is the total number of tweets, so n sub 1 is equal to 219. And then x sub 1 is success. In this case, success is that a tweet is about a present. And then out of 235 Instagram posts, that'll be n sub 2. That's equal to 235. 116 were post about food. That'll be x sub 2 equals 116. At the 1% significance level, that's going to be our alpha. Do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the proportion of tweets about presence is less than the proportion of Instagram posts about food? Okay, so since this is a hypothesis test, we should go through the five steps. So the very first step in a hypothesis test is to set up the null and alternative hypotheses. So h sub 0 is the null. And we have two population proportions. So it's always p1 equals p2, no matter what. And then for the alternative hypothesis, in this case it said tweets less than Instagram posts. So it's p sub 1 less than p sub 2. The next two steps come entirely from StatCrunch. Step two is the test statistic, and step three is the p-value. So I'm going to go to StatCrunch, and you go to Stat, Proportion Stats, and we have two samples. So it's two samples, and it's with summary, right, because we have two proportions. So again, it's Stat, Proportions, two sample, with summary. Then you enter all of the information. So the successes is 100. Looks like observations is 219. Then you do the same thing for Instagram. So successes is 116. Observations is 235. Good stuff. Oh, we just change this to less than. Always leave it at zero here whenever you're doing two proportions, right? It's the same thing. If I subtract P2 from both sides here, I end up getting zero on one side. So everything looks okay. Let's see 100, 219, 116, 235. Good stuff. Click compute. All right, so step two is the test statistic. So it says z-stat. So whenever you see z-stat, just write z. So z equals negative 0.79. And then the p-value, the p-value in this case, is 0.2151. Good stuff. All right, step four is to decide whether to reject or fail to reject our null hypothesis. Whenever the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, we reject. If the p-value is bigger than alpha, we fail to reject. So in this case, the conclusion is fail to reject h sub 0. Again, if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, you reject HO. If it's bigger, it's fail to reject. Step 5 is the interpretation. So we always start our interpretations by mentioning the level of significance. So in this case, alpha is 0.01, so it's at the 1% level of significance. And the way we would do this is, for example, if we were to reject HO, then there would be sufficient evidence to support the claim H1. So if we reject HO, there is enough evidence to support the claim that the proportion of tweets is less than the proportion of Instagram posts. Since we fail to reject, there is not enough evidence. So there is not there is not sufficient evidence to claim that. So again, typically when we reject HO,
then there is enough evidence to support H1. In this case, we failed to reject HO, so there is not enough evidence to support H1. So there is not sufficient evidence to claim that, and usually you can go to the last sentence, everything after the word that. The proportion of tweets about presence, so the proportion, proportion, I'll put, put prop of tweets about presence is less than the proportion of Instagram posts about food. So I'll just scroll down then the proportion of Instagram posts about food. A very typical hypothesis test. The most important thing, I think, is that you realize that it's proportions and it's two sample. And if you get that right, the steps are always the same for all the hypothesis tests. That's it.